Back Marquette. Here's the next then. Fence number eight is looming large in front of them. Bleak House towards the outside of Netherly. And a slight mistake by Bleak House, who just pushed through the top of that and landed a little bit steeply. The better jump was by Netherly. It's not cost Bleak House much momentum, though. They're going down towards fence number nine, another plain one. And Bleak House is almost upsized Netherly again. Just jumped a little bit right-handed, though, Bleak House. General Stonehill is now challenging uh, Bad Day, Bad Day for third. And just easing a little bit closer as they go off towards the open ditch, which is fence number ten. So Netherly towards the inside, the grey, out wide Bleak House. Once again, he's gone a little bit right-handed there, Bleak House. General Stonehill now within seven lengths of the front two. And Bad Day, Bad Day is a further five or six behind. So they're heading down towards the end of the back stretch. Next up is fence number 11. This will be five fences from home. And Netherly's in front and he's opened up by a couple of lengths to Bleak House in second. He's just easing a little bit closer again as the fence looms in front of them. And Bleak House has gone, and Netherly's gone as well. They've both gone at fence 11. They've fallen independently, Netherly and Bleak House both out of the contest. And that leaves General Stonehill in front. So drama at fence 11 here, and it's General Stonehill who now leads back on the home turn, leading up by...